The grand final of the Blom Cup, ladies and gentlemen, in Trek Minute Stadium. It is a full speed competition, and we have gathered the four best players that have qualified or that have attended this event in first place. Of course, a couple of big names have been missing, but we have a very promising looking lineup here for the price pool of $600 that is going to be distributed among everyone here in the competition. We are going to play. The grand final with Div from Switzerland for Team Aurora Racing, who has been playing an outstanding competition throughout all the play days. We have started last Sunday and we are ending it off this Sunday with the grand final right here. So Div has been playing out of his mind, which uh, does bode very well for the grand final. We have Sinas Apo, who had a couple matches, or especially that one match where he almost won. An entire match by taking first in every single round so he almost clean sweeped his entire competition and in that specific match he only lost one round which is very impressive so Sinas Apple definitely a big name here together with Mooney who has been uh, performing very well on certain maps on some others not that much so it will be uh, kind of a hit or miss with him I think in this match and the same goes for power graph so this is definitely going to be an interesting match here for sure. These four players have been competing in full speed for a long time already and they surely know what they are doing. And uh, yeah, point limit right here is going to be 161. So this match is actually going to be a little bit longer than normal. The previous matches have been uh, set to 136 as a point limit. Now we have 161, so a couple of extra rounds that are going to be added on top of that. And... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be, of course, with finalist mode as well. And Div drove local one, Daddy Mania one in the warm up. That's pretty good. That's honestly pretty good. So that will be a tough nut to crack right here. Are we beginning? I think we are beginning here on the first map, which is gonna be Lightning by Kirill, a map that originates from Map Pack One that we have seen last Sunday being driven by the players. So this is going to be our first map. Point of uh, distribution is going to be as per usual with 10, 6, 4 and 3. And we are off to the first round with the camera currently set to Sinas Apo, who is uh, actually off to a very, very good start with great momentum here. Up to first place he goes. The Dutch player actually uh, overtaking all of his opponents here in that section. Div trailing in the background, then we have Mooney on third place and Paragraph also fighting for the third place right now, going through the loop into the next turnover combination and to fight for first place right now. Very, very spicy here between Div and Sinas Apo, but uh, Div definitely had the better section right here, so he's gonna move up into the lead, into the finish line and clocks in a 52.633 to begin it with, which is only 0.2 away from the world record that he just drove in the warm-up. Or, well, Daddy Mania 1. I don't know if it's a world record, but that is a great time nonetheless. So Div will take the ter uh, the first 10 points. Seen us up with 6, Paragraph with 4, and Mooney with 3 going into the next round. So this round has been looking pretty promising. At least in the first half, in the second half, the uh, players have separated themselves a little bit from each other. But all in all, that was still a very promising looking first round. Let's take a look at Div, who opts for uh, an inside line with more momentum and passes Paragraph here for their first place. Mooney has already lost a little bit of pace, finds himself 0.3 behind right now, going through that turnover now. Transitioning small auto slide into a long speed drift into the tube, down the wall and uh, into the loop. This section is pretty tough to nail actually, really uh, difficult to balance the grip here. But all of the players of course know what they're doing and right now it actually looks like Paragraph is the one to defeat Div in this round. Paragraph must actually be on quite a good time here. Let's see what he's going to clock in at the finish line. 52.813. That is a good time. Div on second, Mooney on third, and Sinas Apo has not been able to keep up with the pace here. And he gets last with a 53.264. So uh, all in all, a pretty balanced match so far. No one's really pulling away so far like Sinas Apple did in his match where he just won every single round. This is not the case in the grand final. Exactly what we want to see. We want to have a balanced, fair and high quality match here for the grand final of the Blum Cup hosted by Blomquist. Which is uh, 
a competition that has been awaited by many full speed players in the community. Going into the next round, however, it is Mooney that is actually struggling to hit the optimal line right there. Gets passed by Paragraph and falls back all the way down to last place. Switching to Swiss player Div, who actually goes for the overtake on Cena's Apple here. Very well executed section. Paragraph on P3 right now, unable to make anything happen, and these positions might be set in stone unless something happens at the exit of the wall. Sinas Apple with a little bit of a stumble, but he was able to stabilize, and Div clocks in the next time under 53 seconds together with Sinas Apple. So we have uh, actually, funnily enough, three players from Aurora Racing, and then Mooney, who has no team. So uh, a sheer dominance by AR here in this competition. But. In this competition, it is a solo one, so being a teammate doesn't mean anything. You are opponents on the track. The point limit right now, the scores, I mean, 26 for Div, 18 for Paragraph, 15 for Sina Sattel, and 10 for Mooney. And I think that was a little clip by... Who was that? I think it was Mooney. Or... Well, I think it was Paragraph, rather, who uh, clipped the edge a little bit. Lost a tiny bit of momentum, and there is the first massive mistake of this match. It is Mooney that hits the wall and gets thrown out of the track so that's going to be the first dnf in this match div versus sinas apple once again div always uh, tries to risk it a bit more here in this part compared to sinas apple but right now it wasn't really enough for the swiss player but here he gets a lot more speed and manages to grip a lot better on the tube and this is just how much of a difference this makes to maintain the grip here in full speed and div passes sinas apple with a really well executed tube section Gets a lot of speed out of that, really nailed it down to the limit, and that has been paying off for Div and gets the next 10 points for him. Sinas Apple on second and Paragraph on third, Mooney with a DNF. So this is what really matters here in full speed, that you really handle your grip properly, that you avoid drifting wherever you can, because it is uh, about the grip in uh, certain blocks and certain parts that you need to keep in mind apart from speed sliding and airtime minimization and all of the other stuff that you have in full speed but uh, this is something that div really knows how to do and it clearly shows how much time difference it can make uh paragraph has already uh, said goodbye here in this round paragraph has already uh Fallen out of the track and also Mooney now clips the inside of the loop has gotten a little too aggressively into the entry there and fell out of the track as a result so two dnfs in this round in the names of paragraph and mr mooney so that will leave sinas apple and div alone in the lead with sinas apple getting a 52.871 div getting second and with that they are gonna get away very decently here in the total scores div getting a plus six and sinas apple with that plus 10 is gonna get away very nicely from paragraph and mooney who are sitting there with 22 and 10 points respectively so this round was actually very good for both div and sinas apple going on to the next map which is gonna be another map coming from map pack number one so in the grand final we are actually merging the map packs from uh play day one and play day two in the previous matches that we saw today in the quarterfinals and in the semi-finals we have seen only map pack 2 being played but here in the grand final the players have to master the entire map pack of the blom cup so here we are back onto the map pack of play day one onto the map by mario galaxy and babu called chonky fire one warm-up and then we're gonna be live So another uh, difficult map. I even have a daddy. I even have a daddy. That's pretty sick. Like, my full speed career is also coming at some point. Now, nah, but all jokes aside, it's uh, yeah, a very difficult map to get all of the details down. As per usual in full speed. Very important to keep the momentum up high. As soon as you lose the momentum at some point by either missing a speed slide by over or by badly calculating a line. Or uh, by just making, yeah, by clipping an edge or something. Then you will lose the momentum and there is just no way that you're ever going to get it back. So a very, very momentum-based style here that we have. That has evolved a lot in the past and in the history of Trackmania Stadium. So, first round. 42 for Div. 31 for Sinas Apple, 22 for Paragraph, and 10 for Mooney. So we have a pretty big gap between first and last. It is 32 points between first and last here on the scoreboard. So that is already pretty big. And this map could perhaps shorten the gap or even widen it. Let's see 
what the players are going to do. Following Mooney, who did struggle in the previous match that I have casted from him. Already in the previous match, he did have a rather wonky start into his match until he kind of found himself and he found his focus and he found his flow and then he was able to win a lot of rounds and then with that he was actually even able to qualify for the grand finals. We actually see a similar thing here. Mooney uh, gets a couple of decent laps but also makes a couple of mistakes. So uh, maybe a little bit of a wonky start for him. But let's actually take a look here at Diff who is opting for the overtake here on Sina's Apple right in front of the ending. Once again Diff sniping Sina's Apple right in front of the ending. And that was another greatly executed section by Div, who was really pushing it to the limits once again, got a great entry into the final turnover and was just able to carry that speed all over through the last speed slide up the hill into the finish line. So Div with the next 10 points and snipes 4 points away from Sina Seppel. Very great race there up front. So uh, Div right now looking very promising. Does a really good job here in the grand final so far. Didn't have a DNF so far and all in all very good speed and consistency. So this is what we want to see. And this is what uh, many people of course expect to see from Div. Who is of course one of the best in what he's doing. And also here. Great, great speed that Div gets out of that section. And with that he pushes himself up to first place temporarily. Sinas Apo goes a little wider. This is actually the fight for first place. Very different trajectories here for the speed slides, but both of them ending up with pretty much the same exit speed. Sinas Apple going out a little wider right here. Similar trajectory through the loop-de-loop. -loop. Div, however, having the upper hand here going through the last loop and also here he gets the inside line. Great speed slide and into the finish we go. It's Div and Sinas Apple only 89 milliseconds apart from each other. Mooney taking third and Paragraph taking fourth. Great race here once again. And it really seems like Div and Sinas Apple are slowly but surely getting away from Paragraph and Mooney. Both of them unable to keep up with the pace right now on map number 2. And also on map number 1. And you can also see in the Deadly Mania times that Div is there with a massive margin down to Sinas Apple. Div with a 52.764 and that is more than 0.2 ahead of Sinas Apple. So Div's speed is unmatched in this competition and that clearly uh, shows in the matches so far. Speed and consistency definitely on point here for the Swiss player and also in this round he finds himself on first place and extends his lead further and further. That was a really well executed section. Goes for a really really inside line. That is something that the others are not doing. As you can see everyone is going out so wide and then there's Diff who's just going super super tight everywhere and still maintains a crap ton of speed so this is just the difference between Div and Sinas Apple right now and also Mooney is trying to make a difference right here and actually gets a little bit more speed out of that speed side tries to hit the finish line earlier and he does so and he beats Sinas Apple by 1,000th of a second right at the end wow this was a clutch overtake by Mooney and he snipes away two points from Sinas Apple and once again Div being unmatched in that previous round. Oh, massive mistake already in the beginning by Paragraph. A full stop into that wall. And yeah, I guess he can just retire at this point. Because I don't even think that he's going to survive the upcoming jump. So, one player is down. Let's focus on the remaining drivers. Sinas Apple in the lead. Mooney going for a slightly different line. And also Div attacks with more speed. And you can clearly see the difference. Oh, Mooney stumbles a lot. That was not really the greatest uh, speed slide right there. Lost out on a lot of time, as you can see. That was a complete oversteer and bumped a lot over these transitions. So Mooney... Ooh, that was also a wonky entry into the wall. Almost threw it away right there. So Mooney gotta make sure that he will remain on the track. Other than that, I think it will be Div and Sinas Apple that are gonna, are gonna take first and second place once again. Div even getting a time under 53 seconds, something that no one else has done here in Deadly Mania so far. Div 52.952, amazing performance so far. Mooney and even Paragraph, even Paragraph has actually finished, which is actually quite a surprise to me. I really thought he's just not gonna make the uh, jumps after that, like somewhere in the beginning, but apparently he was able to do so. Paragraph saves himself three points. That is a pleasant surprise. 82 for Div, 53 for Sina Sapo, 31 for Paragraph, and 28 for Mooney. So the gaps between the players are actually surprisingly big here. 
but uh, what is another surprise is that Div is actually finding himself on last place right now, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for uh, some really juicy speed slides, and you can already see how much Div is getting out of those speed slides from 4th to 2nd, he goes within one sector, and here is his signature inside line once again, and this is just unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. That is an absolute badass line by Div. From last to first, he goes insane. Paragraph on second. Will get some valuable points out of that. Sinas Apple on third and Mooney on fourth. Everyone finishes and everyone within 0.46 of a second, which is a good race here for everyone. And without Div's slow start, then uh, he would have probably gotten another time under 53 seconds. But yeah, that is just insane. That is insane. Div's performance is out of this world in this match. Ninety-two points for Div. He is so far ahead of everyone else. Even Sinas Apple is trailing super far back already here in the total scoreboard. Fifty-seven for the Dutchy. Then we have a thirty-seven for Paragraph and thirty-one for Mooney. So Div almost has triple the amounts, uh, triple triple the amount of points of Mooney, which is actually disgusting. That is actually almost disgusting. We're going on to the next map. We have Triste Verité by Vince. Which is a new map here in the rotation. This is a map from map pack 2. So uh, perhaps we're going to see a couple of changes right there. But uh, yeah, all in all, Sinas Apple also kind of safe-ish right now. Since he's 20 points ahead of Paragraph. But maybe on the upcoming maps, there might be a couple of changes. A couple of DNFs, a couple of bad rounds. And all of a sudden, Sinas Apple can very well lose that as well. So nothing's lost yet. Even though Paragraph and Mooney certainly need to step it up now. Div almost, uh, yeah, he has one foot in in the in the uh, first place price pot already. One step in the door. It is very unlikely that he is gonna throw it away. But yeah, then again, anything can happen. We are in Trackmania. We are in full speed. A very unforgiving style. Here we go with the first round on Triste Verité. Paragraph having the fastest time, and I think that was actually Div who fell behind, and Div actually had to retire. Div's first DNF here in this round, and this is exactly what I was talking about. Anything can happen, and this is a great chance for the other three drivers to actually close into Div, even though it is not a lot, but it is still gonna be something. And with more DNFs, then, you know, all, all the work that Div has done in the previous round will actually go down the toilet. But here we have Sinas Apple going for the attack. And he will have more speed on the stretch. And he will pass Paragraph right in front of the ending. With eight thousandths of a second of a difference right here. Great effort by Sinas Apple. And he gets the ten points in front of his teammate Paragraph. And Mooney, who was only a tenth behind as well. So that was a great round with Div missing out. Will Div recover from uh, the DNF that he had? Of course, uh, one DNF doesn't really mean a lot. But uh, yeah, depending on the player, even one DNF can already throw your ba uh, throw yourself back in terms of confidence. And here we have Paragraph, who now got cut by the Randstein and got thrown into the barrier. So Paragraph will be out of this one, which will hurt. Because Sinas Apple is right now in P1. And if Sinas Apple gets the 10 points, then he will gain another 10 points on top of the 24-point gap that Sinas Apple has over Paragraph here in the total scoreboard. So Sinas Apple looking to make it break it. In the last uh, turn, no, he's gonna make it, even though Div was coming dangerously close. Almost sucked himself using the slipstream, the non-existent slipstream in this game. Div almost passing Sinas Apple on the last straight, but it was not quite enough to go for an overtake. Sinas Apple gets 10, Div gets uh, second, and uh, Mr. Mooney got third. So a couple of DNFs that we have seen on this map already, especially the Randstein section where you actually kind of want to drive over in order to trigger a speed slide is, uh, yeah, it can sometimes go wrong, unfortunately. Luckily, we're not in TMNF where every second try you would get bugged to Mars, but uh, even in TM2, 
the small height elevation change that you have from the Rannstein, which essentially triggers the speed slide in the first place, can still cause some chaotic behavior by the car. And we had a double mistake by Div and by Mooney at the same part. Mooney got thrown out of the track, but Div was actually able to stabilize. Paragraph and Sinas Apple have closed the deal here in the front with Paragraph taking 10 points with a 46.14. Sinas Apple with a 0.23. And Div, luckily enough, was able to save himself. So actually, a pretty good job here uh, by Div for saving himself from falling into misery. And with that, he will actually go up to 102 points. But this map certainly wasn't Div's one so far. He actually lost a lot of points towards Sinas Apple. The gap is not... What? Okay, my dude. Sinas Apple just uh, yeeted himself out of the track in the first drop. That is... Uh, okay. I don't know how that happened, but he's out. So, never mind what I said about Sinas Apple taking advantage from Div's mistake on this map. Because now this is the perfect opportunity for Div to basically get back what he lost on this map because Sinas Apple will definitely get the DNF right here. Unbelievable. Not sure what he was trying to do there. Mooney trying to go for an attack on Div right now and I think Mooney actually has one, two, three kilometers an hour more here on the clock but it won't be enough to go for an overtake. However, only 14 milliseconds between Div and Mooney here at the finish line. So that was great effort by Mooney. Not quite enough. If the track was probably a little bit longer then uh, he would have gone for the overtake. So, Div, Mooney, and Paragraph getting 10, 6, and 4 points respectively. Maybe Sinas forgot the track. You never know. Anyway, going into the next round. The score already uh, looking good for Div. 112, but there are still... Wait! I talked about Div and he retired. Alright. So, Div with another DNF. This map doesn't really seem to suit him whatsoever. That's the second DNF that he got here. All, on all the previous maps, like in every round, he did actually finish. And now on this map, he gets two DNFs, which is kind of worrying. But luckily, he was able to gather this big point gap that he can work with. So he can kind of afford that, but he should make sure that it doesn't happen too often. Otherwise, the point gap is going to melt quicker than he wants it to go. So anyway, Mooney, 46.13. That is actually an insane time by Mooney and also Paragraph kept up very very nicely so the two back markers on the scoreboard Paragraph and Mooney both getting a 46.1 which is really really quick but yeah there's still uh, quite some rounds to go until we could finally maybe see your first finalist being Div He's sitting there at 112 points we have the map change right now we are gonna go on to blame pass by Kirill Another map from map pack 2 and the point limit is 161 so there's still a long long way to go for all other players even Div still needs to yeah essentially win five rounds in a row if he wants to become a finalist as quickly as possible. So one warm up here as per usual and then we're gonna be going live. Sinas Apple sitting there still with a comfortable lead of 24 points. I think we actually had 24 points in the beginning of the previous map. So in that regard, nothing has really changed. Sinas Apple still having a very comfortable lead over his teammate Paragraph. And then Mooney, 55 points. Wasn't really able to get any of those 10 points, which are very, very valuable in this point system. And also had a couple of DNFs, a couple of uh, third and fourth places. And yeah, that's just what makes the difference compared to a player like Div who got a lot of 10 pointers that's just the difference at the end of the day but this is where Mooney could potentially uh, make a comeback because this is a good map we have seen that in his previous matches Mooney actually does have great potential to maybe snipe a couple 10 pointers away from Div or from Sinas Apple or from Paragraph so let's see what's gonna happen here going into the first round Sinas Apple going for a very alternative line, but it actually seems to kind of pay off since he actually came a little bit closer here to the remaining players. Div, however, with a really, really great start at this point already, finding himself more than a tenth ahead at this point, and he's just looking to extend his lead. So Div, I believe, is on a banger of a time. Sinas Apple on second place and Mooney on third, so Mooney right now unable to take advantage from his map expertise that he has on this one. 
only a third place for him so far and coming towards the ending i don't think a lot is going to happen the ending is pretty basic and i think div is going to have a very close time to uh, 53 let's see what he's going to clock in Sinas up on second place is he going to miss the finish this time around no nope. and div with a 54078 that is illegal that is fast that is really really fast Sinas Apple on 2, Mooney on 3, Paragraph on 4. Everyone finished, but Div's speed once again being unmatched in this round. Very good performance. Oh, Mooney, where is your speed slide? Oh, that is going to be a massive speed loss. As you can see, Mooney for some reason wasn't able to trigger the speed slide. And with that, as you can see, it makes a significant difference. As I said before, it is a very momentum-based style. So if you miss NSD or if you just uh, yeah mess it up completely by under or oversteering, then your momentum will be screwed. But Mooney was actually able to recover very well from the first mistake that he did there. He's still finding himself in P3 and is actually within reach. He is coming closer to Div as well. And also Sinas Apple is not too far behind. Mooney now with a more inside aggressive approach here into the tube. Dropping down into the loop-de-loop -loop right here. Sinas Apple still in first place. It is neck and neck between Mooney and Div. Coming down to the last straight. I think it is Sinas Apple that has a little bit of a speed disadvantage. Speed will be better for Div. And he will pass Sinas Apple at the ending by 16 milliseconds. Great, great effort by Div coming towards the ending. Once again, Div passing Sinas Apple at the end. Not the first time it happened in this match. And Div gets the next 10 points for him. 132 points for Div. Sinas Apple sitting there with 99. And I think he's going to be mad about Div constantly taking away his 10 pointers. Here we go into the next round. A very stacked field. This is a great match so far. And also in this round, everyone is very close to each other. 800s between all of the players. And now the Sinas Apple that makes the first mistake stumbles a little bit over the edge of the quarter pipe. But he was at least able to uh, kind of stabilize from that. So he's not at least, like, he's not completely out of the track. So that's definitely what matters. Sinas Apple definitely going to be able to finish here at least. Div on first place, Paragraph versus Mooney. This is the fight that we have to look out for. Mooney having the slight advantage and also here he gets a little bit more speed out of it. The last wall and the last speed slide on the blue part will be decisive. Mooney, I don't think he's going to lose it here even though Paragraph is coming a little bit closer up the hill and we have Mooney that stays in front of uh, the Slovakian player. Paragraph, not quite enough to pass Mooney right here at the end. Div with the next 10 points as per usual. Sinas Apolloni with 3 but uh, he can definitely afford that. The point gap still 29 points between second and third place. So Sinas Apple can certainly afford getting fourth once. There's still a lot of room to play with here for the Dutch player. And Div is coming closer to finalist mode. Div finding himself at uh, the back, but also here you can just clearly see the SDs are just a tiny bit more smooth and just a little bit more optimized. And this is just how Div gets that extra speed out of every sector. And he goes up to first place, but the fight is not over yet. Sinas Apple going out a little wide, maybe a bit too wide because the entry into the wall is going to be a little bit tight. But also Div suffers from a little bit of speed loss. And I think Mooney might go for an overtake here as well. Let's see what Mooney is going to be able to do here. Mooney actually got a lot of speed right here and he passes Div. And he might even be able to pass Sinas Apple. Mooney with a great overtake goes up to first place. And also Div is even getting snacked by Paragraph. Great, great position changes right here at the ending. It is Mooney that is in front of Sinas Apple. Paragraph on third and Div on fourth these four players only 26 hundreds apart from each other great race and a lot of position changes in the second half of the track Mooney getting important 10 points and div a very rare sight to see him on last place here in this match oh and the first massive touch right here by paragraph at least he didn't fall out of the track, but I don't think he's going to be able to pass this jump. Aye. Okay, he made it. Not sure if he's going to be able to finish. But yeah, Paragraph is out of this one, leaving a three-man battle here on the track with Div being in the lead. Sinas Apple on second and Mooney on third. Mooney with a mild understeer in that SD and also not the greatest entry into that part. So Mooney will lose out on some momentum. Let's switch to Sinas Apple. Will he be able to make anything happen here in the last sector? The gap is pretty big up to Div, so I don't think he's going to be able to make anything happen. 19 hundredths of a second coming towards the ending Sinas Apple might be closing in just a tiny tad but 
Won't be enough. Div with the next 10 points. 54, 0, 0, 5. Almost got the sub 54. That was, uh, yeah, definitely lost at the end. And Sina's Apple actually clocks in a PB as well, which is great. 54.20 by Sina's Apple. Driving a PB in a match that requires balls. And we are going to see the next map here. We have the duo map between Brad and Hope. This is the map where we might see the winner of the Blum Cup with Div being only six points short to reaching the point limit and then he will be a finalist and then he will only need one more first place to secure his position and essentially his victory in the Blum Cup. So a lot of pressure onto Div's shoulders but also this map looks very very good when I take a look here on the left side onto the Denimania score table with Div being almost... Uh, yeah, a whole century ahead of Sina's Apple. That is a massive, massive gap. So, uh, Div definitely looking strong on this map as well. Will he make it a quick fashion? Or will he struggle? We're gonna find out soon. Two hundred and fifty euro for first place will be given away, and they are really, really close. They are right in front of Div's door, basically. Div just needs to open the door and take the money, and then close the door and leave. That's what he has to do. He will go into the first round. Div needs first or second in order to become a finalist. If he doesn't get that, then he will need another round on top of that. Sina with 114, also looking pretty safe here so far. Muni with 83 and Paragraph with 80. So the fight for third place is also going to be pretty important because third place will still receive $50. So uh, it's definitely not to be ignored who is going to take third place. Going into the round though, we have a good fight here between Muni and Sina for P2. But it is Div once again being super far ahead. Paragraph unable to keep up with the pace here. Also here lacks the momentum, so he is most likely going to be out of this round. Mooney on second, Sinas Apple on third. Doesn't look like we are going to have any sort of position changes coming towards the ending of this div. That wins the round 51.18. That is an absolutely mad time by div. And with that, he is going to become a finalist. First finalist attempt for the Swiss player. Now the pressure is on for Div. Is he gonna make it happen here in the first finals attempt? He has a lot of room to play with, so even if he doesn't make it in the first try, there's nothing lost for him at all. But I'm pretty sure Div wants to close it out as quickly as possible. He does have the pace, he does have what it takes to close it out. And he is actually off to the greatest start out of the four Trackmania players. Div on first, even though Mooney is coming a little bit closer. He is finding himself on second place. But the man to beat is Div right now. He is so far ahead. I don't think he's going to let that slip through his hands. Very risky lines by Div. But he is more than 0.2 ahead. And we are coming closer to the end of the track. The last wall remaining. And Div will be the winner of the Blom Cup. If he doesn't mess up the ending, the last looping remaining. And Div wins the Blom Cup 2019. He will take home 250 euro. Very, very well-deserved victory by Div. Outstanding performance throughout the entire tournament. That is domination at its best. GG Div. Mooney having a phone call. That is, uh, yeah, interesting timing. Good that it didn't happen while Div was finalist because that could have maybe thrown, it, thrown him off completely. But yeah, short break. Right here, and then we are going to continue. Sina Sapu, 121 points. Four victories in a row, mathematically spoken, and he is a finalist as well. Mooney, 95 points, very far behind. Paragraph 87. So, third place definitely will be played out. And if Sina Sapu doesn't completely uh, tilt to Mars, which is something that almost happened in the semi-final, um, then he should be able to take second place, which will still be worth $100. So, 
that is also a pretty good number here in Trackmania. Mooney is ready, and we're gonna continue the grand final of the Blum Cup. Second and third place still to be played out. Here we go into the next round. Now the big points are gonna be open again. Without Div, the chances of getting the 10 pointers are is now a little bit higher. And this is exactly what Sinas Apple wants to take advantage from if he wants to seal the deal for the silver medal in the Blom Cup. Great start for the Dutch. Paragraph on uh, second and Mooney on last right now. Maybe the phone call also threw him off a little bit because this line looks a little bit more than wonky. That is something that I could drive almost. Looks like a Riolo line. But uh, yeah, I'm sure he will find himself into the match eventually. Sinas Apu will take 10 points. Paragraph, second place. And a great time by Sinas, 51.381. Great effort. One down, but he needs three more. Going into the next round, here we go. Let's follow Paragraph, who is of course in dire need. If he wants to take third place, he's right now uh, six points behind. So he could very well make use of the 10 pointers here every now and then. It's looking pretty good right now. He's in a fight with the Dutch player. Even though Sinas Apple now having uh, a very, very great part right here. Gets away from Paragraph. Mooney too far behind. Ah, maybe he lost his focus a little bit due to the phone call. The small breaks are always dangerous. Dangerous in terms of losing your focus and, yeah, losing your, your grip in the match. Ooh, Paragraph actually with a lot more speed. Is he gonna go for the overtake on Sinas Apple? The last loop will be decisive, but Paragraph falls out! Paragraph falls out, but at least he will be able to finish. So he will at least get four points. But that was a throw and a half. Huh? Wait, what? Why did he not finish? Wait, is there a checkpoint in the loop or what? Wait, what? Where, where is the finish? No. Hey, I don't get it, man. Paragraph retired again. Anyway, Sinas Apple on his way to get the next 10 pointers. No one is in sight. Free 10 points for Sinas Apple. One step closer to 100 euro. Mooney taking six, paragraph with a DNF. And that could mean the early GG for Paragraph now because he is 18 points behind. And that is going to be pretty rough to catch up from. Hopefully he didn't tilt out of the planet. That would be bad. Alright, going back onto Lightning. And this is where we will probably see Sinas Apple taking it home. Unless Mooney and Paragraph all of a sudden drive out of their minds. We will know more after the warm-up boys.
Alright, pretty good time here by Sinasapu. In the warm-up. That looks uh, pretty promising for him. Gonna be a tough nut to crack. Sinasapu about to become finalist. One more round victory is needed and then he will be at the point limit. The required point limit of 161. Will he make it happen? Let's take a look at the first round. Going onto this map for another time. For the last time here in the Blom Cup. One more time driving through the strength. Let's follow Mooney. Everyone off to a good start. It looks like Mooney actually got a very good entry into the wall. Leaving Sinas Apple down to third place. So Sinas is actually losing out on a little bit of ground. Paragraph on first. Mooney on second. Going into the turnover. A little bit of an oversteer. Mooney with a slightly alternate line. And that is actually costing him a little speed. Since he went out very wide. Sinas Apple now attacking Mooney for that second place. Going into the looping. Very risky line by Sinas Apple. Almost made contact with the inside wall. And he will come a little bit closer to Paragraph. But it's not quite enough yet for an overtake. Now this tube, very, very important to uh, minimize sliding in that tube. But it will uh, be Paragraph that will stay ahead. Even though Sinas Apple has a massive speed advantage. But the track is too short. It is too short. And uh, it won't be enough to pass Paragraph. So Paragraph will get 10 and will deny Sinas the uh, qualification into finalist status. So Sinas now with 157 only requires a finish in order to become a finalist now. Mooney with 115 and Paragraph with 103. So all of the three players have broken through the 100 point barrier. But uh, the gap is still pretty big. Very tight line by Mooney. This is not how you want to do it. Tight line means very little speed. And with that he gets thrown back all the way down to last place. Paragraph on first. And uh, that is looking like a solid pace by Paragraph, even though Sinas Apple is actually coming dangerously close. Sinas Apple with a lot more speed, and he might actually go for the overtake on the Slovakian player. Sinas Apple now through the looping. This is where you want to avoid sliding as much as possible, and Sinas Apple did it a lot better. So Sinas Apple up to first place, Paragraph now down to second, and also Mooney is trying to go for an attack now. He will have the uh, upper hand right here, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to go for an overtake. Mooney actually with a lot more speed. Will, will, will it be enough? No, it won't be enough. Very good effort by Mooney though. Also here, if the track was one, two, three blocks wider, longer, Mooney would have gone up to second place. Sinas Apu will take 10 points. He will be our finalist in this round. Let's see if he's gonna make it or break it. First finals attempt for the Dutchie. Looks like a promising start for him already. Very good speed slide right here, even though Paragraph is not too far behind. So this is definitely not decided yet. 20 seconds on the track have passed. And also Mooney is not too far behind. So even he can make a difference right here. And Sinas Apple now with a terrible entry up there. Mooney with a lot of speed pushing himself up to first place. And it looks like Sinas Apple is actually getting denied in his first finals attempt. Mooney has an incredible pace and he carried a lot of momentum through here. Very close. Did you see how close he was to that wall? While we have Paragraph actually yeeting himself out of the track. So one opponent will be down for Sinas Apu. Mooney needs to survive the ending and he will then successfully deny Sinas Apu's first finals attempt. There he goes. He even gets a time under for 53 seconds. So 52.877 by Mooney. And that will deny Sinas Apu's first finals attempt. Mooney up to 129. Attempt number two. Paragraph opting for an inside line. Gets a decent speed slide though. Sinas Apple still fighting. Very, very close uh, battle here. Both of them being neck and neck. Three thousandths of a second at the checkpoint. But here's where Sinas Apple makes a massive, massive difference. Mooney has already retired. And this could be the end if Sinas Apple doesn't throw it away now. Sinas Apple is in a very comfortable lead of three tenths of a second. If he throws this away, then uh, I don't know, man. Sinas Apple has thrown an opportunity like this already, but I think this time around he is going to avoid it right here. Last speed slide into the finish, and Sinas Apple takes it. Second place in the Blom Cup for the Dutch player for Aurora Racing. GG, $100, Euro, whatever, for Sinas Apple.
And we're now being left with the two remaining players. We're still gonna fight for position number three. It is still worth $50. And it will be played out between Mooney and Paragraph. The point gap is 14 points. It is not a lot. And now in a 1v1 situation, this point gap can shrink very, very fast in case of a DNF. So let's take a look here. Mooney right now off to a very good start. Finding himself 1400s ahead of Paragraph right now. And he keeps his momentum intact. This part is pretty difficult to get right. And also this entire section now with the uh, loop entry. Very, very tough. And looks like Paragraph is kind of saving it already. He just wants to stay. He wants, he wants to stay on the track, and maybe hopes for Mooney to make a mistake, because this round is pretty much lost at this point anyway. And Mooney will take it. Next 10 points for him, and a great, great time by him as well. 52.8. Now Mooney is pushing it. He goes up to 139 points. Paragraph up to 121. Ooh, a little bit of fire being uh, put in the chat by Paragraph. Pretty sure I'm gonna deny you here. Ooh. Well, let's see if that's gonna happen. We're back onto Chonky Fire. This is where Mooney could potentially become a finalist. After the warm up, we're gonna find out more. Putting a little bit of fire into uh, into the chat that is interesting mind games mind games for the 50 dollar price pool manipulating your opponents i mean how many kebab are 50 dollar dude that's like a lot always gotta keep that in mind boys Here's the end of the warm-up. Let's go with the next round. Mooney at 139 and Paragraph with 121. Point gap, 18 points. As I said, one DNF could potentially throw the whole thing around. So let's see what's going to happen here in this 1v1 battle. Both of them very equal start. Mooney opting for a more inside line and gets a lot more speed out of this part. Gaining... A very, very essential time gain already here. 11 hundredths of a second here at that checkpoint. Paragraph on second place, currently unable to come any closer. He opts for the attack here. Paragraph actually with the attack, he goes for the div line. And will it pay off though? Right now, it seems like it did actually pay off because he got a much better line than Mooney. So Paragraph up to first place and he's gonna get the 10 points that he desperately needs. Will close the gap by four points if he hits the finish. Which he will. 53.5 by Paragraph and a 53.6 by Mooney. So that was a good, good race. Great effort by Paragraph. The inside line certainly paid off after being behind by more than a whole tenth of a second. Great effort by Paragraph. Comes closer to Mooney. 145 to 131. Going into the next round. Mooney this time. Getting a very, very aggressive uh, inside line right here. Not sure if that's going to be paying off for him on the long run. But it looks like he will uh, stabilize himself with a yeah, roughly 0.1 advantage right here. Going into this part now. Paragraph going very, very high on that banking. Drags out that speed side a lot. Tries to get as much speed as possible. And right now did actually pay off for him. Paragraph actually attacking right here. And now Mooney and Paragraph are Mooney now. Actually with a lot tighter of a line right here compared to Paragraph. And it looks like uh, Paragraph will, however, carry that speed advantage. He is coming dangerously close to Mooney now. Going through the loop-de-loop -loop here. Mooney still having the advantage right here into the last turnover we go. Last speed slide will be decisive. But I think Mooney is still going to take it right here. Going up into the finish line. But Paragraph came dangerously close by hitting the finish line here. By hitting the finish pole. Only 600s between Mooney and Paragraph.
Very nice to see all of these different lines. Sometimes uh, players are going for the inside line, having a little bit less speed, and the other one is going wider, gets more speed at the exit, comes a bit closer again. So it's a nice back and forth, which is very nice to observe here in the full speed style. And these two players are definitely giving it all. 155 to 137. Mooney can become a finalist if he finishes. Paragraph at 137 needs to continuously win the rounds now. Every single round from now on. Mooney up, to, Mooney up into the lead. Paragraph this time doesn't really go up that high. But he's still lurking in the shadows, waiting for a mistake. Paragraph, ah, not the greatest turnover right there. Opting for the inside line. Mooney gets it as well, though. Mooney knows that it's a good line, and now he picks it as well. Stays in front of Paragraph, and he will deny Paragraph valuable points if Mooney gets that 10-pointer through. Last SD to the left, and then up into the finish line. Mooney takes it, and he will be a finalist. 53.335 by Mooney. First finals attempt for the British player. Paragraph with 143. As I said, he needs to win every single round from now on. Paragraph might be hoping for a mistake by Mooney to happen. Mooney, of course, having the pressure, being in finalist. It is not an easy situation for a player to be in, but that is an absolutely, uh, yeah, ridiculously fast start by Mooney. Already more than a whole tenth ahead at this point, and Paragraph is out. Paragraph Airlines, and this is it. GG. Mooney just needs to survive. I don't know if he plays with interface on. I don't know if he's aware of the situation. But this is most likely the end. Last SD. He takes it home. And Mooney will get third in the Blom Cup. GG. Well played. 50 euro. Pound. Dollar. Yen. Zimbabwe dollar. For him. GG. And Paragraph gets fourth. Div wins the Blom Cup 2019 in front of Sinasapo, in front of Mooney, in front of Paragraph. Well played, GG.